everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Lily. And before we get started, don't forget to hit the little subscribe bell. The subscribe bell, yeah, that too. Subscribe button and the little notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. And you're probably wondering, Lil, why do you look like an egg today? Well, I only have on foundation, concealer and powder and brows because today we're gonna to be testing out some products. Um, we're gonna be doing a little eye look. There's some face products in there as well. Um, and I am extremely excited about this. So today we're gonna to be doing a little review and try out of the UX Beauty Bay um, collab, or U and Beauty Bay, which basically, if you don't know, Beauty Bay are an online stockist of loads of different makeup brands. Um, I'll put a link to them down below. And they also have their own brand, Beauty Bay. Um, I have a couple of their palettes and I have a load of their brushes, which are, they're really affordable and really good. Um, which is absolutely great. So the UX Beauty Bay collab was basically, um, they've done a collab with a couple of influencers before, but this collab was, um, so like, it was literally like two months ago or even more than that, I can't remember. Um, I think it was more than that. They put out this thing saying they're gonna collab with you, me, you know, like their followers, fans kind of thing. So they put up these three templates and you had to screenshot them, name the palette and then name the shades that they had. So it was like a digital thing of the, the palette and then you like name the shades and they picked them. I actually completely forgot about it. Um, so there's three palettes and then there's one bag, all designed and all named, well not all designed, all the names were picked from people, if that makes sense. So other people, followers, whoever, like the brand got to choose. Um, and then the bag was also designed, they did like a poll, what do you want the bag to look like? The packaging of the palettes, what do you want that to look like? So I think that whole thing is just really cool. They launched this on the 31st. It is now the 9th. I received this um, on the 1st, so the day after they launched, they sent it out to me on the 31st, I got it the next day, because I named a shade. <laughs> and I just, I don't, it just, I, it got me really excited. Um, so I named a shade in one of these palettes. So they sent me all the three palettes and the bag, which is absolutely amazing. If you named a shade or a palette, they sent you everything, um, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. I am going to stop my rambling, because I'm very excited. And let's get right into this video. This is the box that I received. Um, and this is actually a gift box that you can buy yourself at checkout um, to put your items in. So I got it in this little Beauty Bay gift box. So I'm gonna open her up. And we have this little handwritten note, which I thought was just really cute and thoughtful. Um, so it says, thanks so much for getting involved in you and Beauty Bay. We hope you love seeing the name you chose in the collection. Love, Beauty Bay. So that's just a really nice touch. Um, so that's really cute. So this is the bag with the palette inside. So this is a really cute, I love, I love makeup bags. I think I like to store my eyelashes in some of mine and then I use, I've got like a travel one and it's, it's just, they're really handy to have. So this is really cute, it's just like clear plastic. It's got like the pink zip detail on there and it's got blue lightning bolts on, like cartoon style lightning bolts, um, which is really cool. So there's three palettes. So obviously we're gonna start with the one that I had a name in. Um, that I named a shade in rather and this palette is called Tropic Like It's Hot and they're just like square um, Palettes if you've seen the other ones that they've done with influencers They're the same as that the same style because that's the style they do when they do like collabs and that and it's got um, this slip-on sheet which is like a really nice bluey green with uh, it's got like an ice cream on the front that's got a bite taken out of it. Again, it's all very like cartoon-esque, which is really cute. And then it's got on the back, um, Tropic Like It's Hot, You and Beauty Bay. It's an eyeshadow and a face palette. It says, we're great on our own, but we're better with you. That's why we decided to collaborate with our biggest influencers yet to create these palettes. So we're just gonna take the sleeve off. And you also get, with every palette, you get stickers. Um, which are really cool. So you get a sticker of the name of each palette and then you get a sticker of like the theme. So you get like a sticker that says drop it like a tart and a sticker that's a big um, lolly with a uh, bite out of it. 
which is really cute. The palette itself is just like this black, um, kind of smooth feel material with a nice, I think it's a holographic B for the Beauty Bay logo on the front. And then again, it just says you and Beauty Bay, chop it like it's hot on the back. And Beauty Bay are vegan and cruelty free, all of the Beauty Bay brand stuff. This is the palette with the name sheet on. It does come with a mirror. They all come with a mirror, which I think is absolutely amazing. So this is the Tropic Like It's Hot palette, which is a really nice palette. So you've got six shades and then you've got a kind of bronzer um, and a highlighter. It's nothing too extravagant, so they are very wearable, um, but they're just nice, fun colours as well which are really pretty. So I'm very excited to use this. We're going to be using this one today um, because this is mine and I don't really want to go through like three different palettes and try them out. I'll swatch all of them. Um, I'll put swatches up on the screen of them. So I'm going to tell you the names of these shades and then after that I'm going to put up a picture um, of the swatches. So we have this lovely gold shimmer shade here. This is called Banana Split. We have this really nice matte orange shade. Oh my God, have I just, I've just got my nail in the bronzer. I have just got my nail all in the bronzer. This orange matte shade, I think it's a matte shade. Yeah, is called Beach Ball. Then we have this shade here, which is called Hot Hot Hot, which is a nice um, dark matte ready color like a burnt red it's really nice we then go down to this shade which is called bikini this is a lovely um purple shimmer shade and then this shade here which is called sorbet which is again it's like a nice deep kind of plummy matte purple which is really nice and then we have this shade which coincidentally matches my nails because it's my shade <laughs> This is the shade um, that I chose the name for. It's a really lovely um, kind of light bluey green. It's like a sea foam green. And this one is called Slush Puppy. <laughs> and then we have the bronzer. It's called, what's it called? Dream Tan. And then the highlighter is called Soft Serve. So this is kind of like a nice champagne highlighter. The bronzer is just like a nice warm tone bronzer. So I'm just going to put up um, a picture or a video of um, some swatches of the Tropic Like It's Hot palette. It'll be here somewhere. These palettes, you can buy the palettes in a bundle of three with the bag for £35 or you can buy them separately. They are £12.50 each and the bag is £10 I believe. Um, so we're going to go on to the next one. This palette is called Aloha Beaches, <laughs> which is brilliant. Um, so this is, uh, again, they all look the same, but the outer packaging sleeve is different on all of them. This has like a red background and it's got kind of red, um, red and orange 3D cartoon stars all over it. And again, it's that same nice sleek packaging. So let's open her up. Noodle has just jumped on the table. But this is the Aloha Beaches palette, which is like oh, a neutral dream. And again, this has the six shades. This also has a darker, um, kind of more cooler toned bronzer. And then again, a darker, um, more kind of goldy champagne-y highlight. So we're gonna go through the shade names. So we have this really gorgeous, oh, it's almost duochrome-y, rose gold with gold fleck metallic if that made any sense this one here is called rosewood and this one in the middle is like a really nice copper metallic shade and um, that's called caramel frappe this one at the end is called s'mores and it's just a really nice warm um matte brown we have this one over here which is called long weekend which is a nice kind of gold shimmer shade. And then this one in the middle is like a really warm, deep um, brown, which is called Toasted. This one um, at the end, the last one, which is called Tan Lines, which is kind of an orangey, 
it's like an orangey brown matte shade the bronzer is called beach bum and the highlighter is called golden hour so what i'm going to do i'm going to pop up a picture or video of some swatches of the aloha beaches palette right right here just so you guys can get a look at it um if you want any more swatches or you want me to do them properly just put me a message below and i'll put some on my instagram and this one is called the um coral coral Coral. Soaked in the lagoon and kissed with coral blue number two semi gloss lipstick. Actually, it's coral blue number two. <laughs> me back palette. So, like, call me back, but coral me back, which is actually really cute and everything. This is really nice pink packaging and it's got um, different, it's got like uh, 3D hearts on in like a light pink shade and a bright pink shade. So, this is the coral me back palette this is gorgeous um it's it's just that pink warm goldy tone and this one has a blush not a bronzer it's a really lovely it's almost like a deep coral color um for the blush and then the highlight i think this is the lightest highlight it's kind of like a white highlight with a hint of champagne tones this one up here this is called daydreamer and this is a really, really lovely matte baby pink colour. Um, then we have this one in the middle, which is called Shell Pink. A rose gold shimmer, which is gorgeous. Um, rose gold, a bit more on the goldy side. And then we have this one here, which is called Coconut. Which is just a really nice, warm, almost bronzy brown matte shade. Very nice. This one is Catching Rays. A brownie gold shimmer. This one in the middle is called Freckles, which is really cute. Um, and this is a matte shade. It's like, it's like a matte rose gold, I'd say. And then this last one, which I think is my favorite out of this palette, is called Flirt. And it's this really lovely, just pink shimmer shade. Um, it's like a pinky red almost, but it's more on the pink side, definitely. And then we have the blush, which is called Smooch. And the highlighter which is called starfish i will put up um some pictures of swatches or a picture or video of some swatches here so you guys can see right so we've gone through all the palettes you're probably wondering where my foundation has gone well because i'm terrible at time management um i didn't realize what time it was when i was filming and i had to go somewhere so i have actually been and gone somewhere and i'm back but yeah we're gonna do a look with um the palette the one that i have a shade name in i am going to prime my eyes and i'll be right back so my eyes are all primed we're gonna go into the tropic like it's hot palette and we're just gonna do a little look and test some colors out we're gonna go into the shade hot 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 which is the really lovely um like deep matte shade and I'm just going to go in with a brush and put that on the outer V. I think we're going to do like a wing look and then maybe do like a cut crease on the inner corner. It picks up nicely and there's pretty much no fallout. Um, so you can definitely see it's on the brush. We're going to just pack it on the outer corner on both eyes um, and just see how it goes. So, oh, that's nice. Stuff. it's there you can see it it's nice and pigmented um i'm literally just kind of stamping this on and then we can just like blend it out later so i'm just kind of lightly blending it out a bit towards the brow bone just see how it's going i mean it's not bad um it's blending actually really nicely it's blending out really nicely um, I'm just going to add some more here and then I'm going to add this on the other eye as well. So I've just gone in with that red shade on both eyes um, and it's it's nice. It's nice and pigmented. It blends easy. Um, yeah, no problems with that colour. Um, I'm now going to go into... I've done this the wrong way around because I had an idea in my head and I was going to do the purple first and then go into the red. But that's not going to happen. Now I'm going to go into this purple colour here, which is called Sorbet. Just this, the lovely matte purple just there. And we're just going to put that next to the red 
um, kind of in the middle. And I'm just going in with another clean brush. Let's see how this purple performs. Okay, a bit more fallout on this shade. So let's see how this performs on the eye. Again, we're just going to put it in the middle of the crease next to that um, red colour. Oh no, that's nice. Oh, I should have swapped these around. That would have been so nice on the outer crease. It's actually really nice deep colour. So you can see it there in the middle. Um, this light is not the best. I mean, it's not as purple as I think I like. Um, but I think it doesn't help being on top of the red. I think that makes it a bit deeper. It blends out. It doesn't blend out too bad. It's kind of struggling to blend into the red a little bit. Um, but let's go ahead and do the other side. Okay, it's not horrible. I think where the purple and red meet, it looks a little bit muddy. So I'm now going to go into this orange shade, which is called Beach Ball. It's just this nice... Um, brightish orange shade that we're going to put on the inner corner next to that purple colour. Again, take another brush and let's have a look. Again, this has pretty much no fallout. Um, the purple so far has the most fallout, but no fallout on the face, only a tiny bit in the pan, so not really an issue. Um, picks up nicely on the brush. We're just going to again put this on the inner corner. Um, orange is nice. It's nice, you can see it there. I don't think it's as pigmented as I would like it to be straight away, but it's a buildable colour. It blends nicely though, I'll give them that. They all blend really nicely. Um, I feel like the orange could just do with being a bit more pigmented. So that blends nicely. Um, it actually looks quite nice altogether, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, what am I going to do now? Now I'm just going to cut my crease, kind of do from the inner corner of my eye to about halfway to my eyelid in like semicircle kind of shape. So I'm just going to cut the crease. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my shade, <laughs> um, Slush Puppy, um, which is this really lovely blue shade here. And I'm just going to go in with a packer brush, I think, and just pack it on where I've put that concealer. Um, well, it's not concealer, I used the P. Louise base. <sighs> okay, that's nice. That's nice. I'm really glad that that's nice because it's, you know, my shade. <laughs> shade name. It's my shade name. <laughs> That goes on really nice and easy with the brush. Um, but that's very bright. That's that's nice. I am happy with that. Um, that's really pretty. I'm just gonna go put some on the other eye. So that colour's on and I'm really happy with that. That's really cute. Um, really lovely blue. I'm gonna go back into the red and just kind of blend it out um, where the edge of the concealer meets the blue and the red and just kind of blend it, make it a bit softer. Right, so that's just been blended out a little bit more. Um, yeah, it just gives it a bit of a less, it just it <laughs> makes it less, less, oh my God, makes it less harsh. There we go. Um, but I'm actually quite happy with that. I'm going to go do my face makeup, um, just foundation, concealer, and powder, um, and then I'll be back. So I've just gone and put um, my face makeup on. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the rest of the face first. So I'm gonna go into the shade, which is called Dream Tan, and it is the bronzer shade in the Tropic Like It's Hot palette. I'm gonna go in with my new favorite contour slash bronzing brush. Um, this is the Spe Spectrum, Spectrum C01 brush. Um, I did a review of the Burn Book brush set. Um, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I'll put a link to it up here somewhere. Um, so yeah, this is just a giant fan brush, super fluffy. So I'm just gonna pop this, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I picked up a bit much. 
So I am going to um, spend my life trying to blend this out. Okay. Let's go up my temple a bit. This is really nice. So I'm just going to put it on my other um, cheek. And I'm also just going to do under my chin and a bit on my nose. Overall, I think it's it's quite nice just going with a lighter hand, maybe. Um, and there is, in the Coral Me Back palette, um, there's a blush. So we're going to go ahead and use this. And this blush is called Smooch. It's a bit of a deeper blush. Um, so I'm not sure if it's going to work with me because I'm quite pale. But this is the blush. It's just like a deep um, rose blush, I think. I don't know. But I'm just gonna go in with this. It's a Beauty Bay Make Me Blush brush. Um, it is clean, they just stained. Um, and we're gonna go into this very lightly. So we let my lesson from the bronzer. And we're just going to lightly, because I can tell already that that's picked up a lot. Um, lightly just dust this over the apples of my cheeks. That's the plan anyway. So with a very light hand with this. <sighs> I barely touch me and you can already see the red there. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, this is very pigmented, so if you use these, be careful. Um, so the apples of my cheeks, I just like to kind of smile, put it on and pull it back. I'm just kind of dabbing this in. That's very, okay. It's nice actually, I thought it'd be a bit too deep toned for me, but it's actually quite nice. Um, I'm going to go in again with the other side, using less product, a uh, very light hand, literally it just, okay, so this brush and bronzer, blush and bronzer, uh, very pigmented, so definitely use light hand with them, um, but I'm very impressed with these so far. We're going to go on to... I'm going to do the under eyes and then we'll do the highlighter last. So for under eyes, I am just going to use this purple because I want to use all the colours. And this shade is called Bikini. It's this lovely, just shimmery purple shade right here. Um, and that's going to go under the eye because I'm just going for something a bit different. Where's my brush? Here it is. Um, again, just using like a flat, fluffy brush. To do this, this is a Colourpop brush, that's all I know. So we're going to go into this and see how this picks up. Now it might not pick up on this brush because it is a metallic shade, so it's not, well, you know, as I said, people say you're not meant to put like metallic shades under your eye or something, they're meant to be on just your lid, but let's be honest, you can do whatever you like with anything. Um, so I'm just going to see how this picks up. It picks up quite nice actually. It's got like lovely shimmery flecks of like silver in I think. Um, so yeah, let's see how this goes on the under eye. Oh no, it's there, oh wow. <laughs> okay, it definitely works. Very pigmented. There's a lot of fallout on this shade. A lot of fallout on this shade, I will say. Um, I think because if you were to press it onto the lid, it might be okay. But because it's loose on a brush, there is quite a lot of fallout. I mean, it's nice and it's pigmented, but you can see there's a load of fallout on my nose, there's a load of fallout here. Um, I think if you were to use a flat packer brush um, it, and pack it onto like the lid or something, it might be a bit better. So I'm just getting the brush um, that I used for my powder and just wiping it away. It wipes away really easy, doesn't really leave residue, um, apart from there's like the tiniest bit of purple on my face. So the under eyes done, I am going to use the last shade we have in this palette and I'm gonna put it on my inner corner. Um, this is shade Banana Split and it's just a really nice gold, um, light gold shimmer shade. Um, I'm just going to get a packer brush for this. Um, the other side of the packer brush that I use for the blue um, and just put this on the inner corner. Let's see how this goes. This picks up nicely again. Um, I think all the shimmer shades are, they form, the they, <laughs> they work exactly the same so far. So it picks up nicely, that's just going to go on the inner corner. That's really nice, that's a really nice colour. No, I'm really happy with this, I think the shadows and everything perform really well. The bronzer and blush were really pigmented, really easy to blend, really nice. 
So now I think um, we're just gonna use the highlight. So I'm very excited about this because highlight's my favorite thing in the entire world. This is in the shade Soft Serve and it's the lovely um, like champagne-y white light gold highlighter that's in the Tropic Like It's Hot palette. I'm gonna get my highlighter brush. Um, this is the uh, Fenty Beauty highlight brush, um, the 120. Okay, it's there. Don't know if it's as blinding as I'd expect. But it's definitely there, it's definitely nice. Um, we're just gonna add a little bit more. No, there we go. Second coat and we're okay. Um, <laughs> that's really pretty. I'm gonna pop some on the other side. really nice it's actually a really nice color i thought it would be a bit too dark for me it is making me look the tiniest bit like bluey gray but it's nothing that would stop me from wearing it like you can barely see it you can like slight ever so slightly see it there it isn't as i think because i'm just used to like insanely stupidly blinding highlighters um because that's absolutely what i live for so if something doesn't like go blind me i'm like mm. but no this is, it's really pretty actually and this is nice because not everyone likes that super blinding highlight and again this is buildable like two coats does that one of them you saw it but it wasn't like super in your face right guys so i'm just gonna pop on some mascara and some lashes these are the tatty lashes um mitchell 2 the second release that he did um and they're just my obsession they're so big and fluffy i love them um but yeah this is the final look um what do you guys think i am really happy with it actually i'm really happy with all the palettes all of the palettes the one that i tried um the chocolate like a top palette worked really well for me nice and pigmented nice and easy to blend the purple shade did have a fair bit of fallout but it was easy to wipe away and it didn't like smudge which was really nice um the purple was nice a bit of a deeper shade than i was expecting um but nothing wrong with that and the orange was a little less pigmented than i thought but again it was still pigmented they're all buildable shadows they all blend really nicely um the face products the bronzer blush and highlight that i tried really lovely again everything's very buildable which is nice because not everyone's into like super blinding or super bright stuff so sometimes if you want a bit more of a toned down look um it's really good to have something that's buildable because like highlighter not everybody likes a blinding highlight um so it's nice to have something that's buildable because you can put it on a little bit and it's there but it's not too like in your face then if you want it a bit more in your face you can build it up so it's quite nice so i really like that um and the fact that the palettes are only 12 pound 50 each i will put a link to them down below in the description box so go check them out if you're interested the bag as well you can buy on its own now is 10 pounds um i think i did say this at the beginning just saying it all again and the bundle for the three palettes in the bag is 35 pounds but yeah guys i think that's all i've got for you today yeah, let me know what you think about the look do you have any of these palettes did you name any of these palettes did you name one of the palettes themselves or a shade in the palette please let me know down below um are you going to get anything from this collection do you think it's what are your thoughts on it just sound off down below um and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell to be notified whenever i upload a video and yeah guys, so thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, evening, whatever you're doing. And I will see you on my next video. So take care guys. Bye.